Hey guys, it's me Astrid and um, tonight we are going to do an unboxing because I got a package. This is from Marlowe's Orchids. Um, I have to say initially with this orchid order that I've placed with Marlowe's Orchids, I'm really pleased with the speed. I'm pretty sure I ordered this on Monday, they shipped it on Tuesday, and Thursday afternoon it arrived and I paid only about $7 for shipping. Bear in mind this is a light, smaller package, but shipping was affordable and really quick. So good job so far, Marlowe's Orchids. I'm pleased thus far. Um, this is going to be Dendrobium Trantuanii. Trantuanii. I am not 100% sure how we're supposed to pronounce that, but um, one of you experts might be able to enlighten me on these matters because I have no clue. Alright, we got the package. Okay, and uh, I don't know which way is up, so we're just going to go ahead and take a guess. Oh, I almost pushed my finger down on the blade of this knife instead of... You know, you guys all cringe when people use knives to open boxes on YouTube. I swear to God I'm going to be the one to cut myself open and bleed for you. I bleed for you. Alright, so packaging. It's got these weird um, things that look like... Uh, James and the Giant Peach Magic Worms. That's cool. Um, we have... Oh, it's so cute! It's so cute and little! Oh! <gasps> Look at this. Oh! <gasps> that is a sweet-ass note to get you guys. Oh, yes. Let's make sure nothing else is in here. Alright, these are messy, but that's okay. Oh my god, this orchid's in bloom. Oh, I'm so happy. How do I not break it? Okay. The reason I love to do these unboxings is because you get to see my face when I get an orchid and I get real excited. Oh, it didn't say it was going to be in bloom. It said it was blooming size also. Okay, okay. Oh, it's such a cute little baby. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, it's so cute. Oh, yes. Yes, queen, yes. Okay. Oh, it's so freaking cute. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to clean this up really quick and read you some stuff about Dendrobium trantuanii. Um, so this orchid is uh, native to Vietnam, northwestern Vietnam, and this is from orchidspecies.com by the way. It takes partial sun, uh, medium temps, and blooms in springtime. It's small and has little teeny blooms, and uh, it grows uh, in dry broadleaf evergreen forests at elevations of 800 to 1,000 meters as a mini warm growing epiphyte with beautiful pseudobulbs. Oh my god. Part of the reason I got this orchid was because of the pseudobulbs. Look, look at these really weird, cool pseudobulbs. They I mean, I've never seen a pseudobulb like this. This is a species orchid, and I like I saw the pseudobulbs, they were beautiful. I saw the blooms, they were even more beautiful. Like, holy crap, holy crap, it's so cute, it's so cute, it's so freaking cute. So apparently the canes, they grow up from these really small little bases, and as the plant gets bigger, um, the canes will tend to flop over, so this is good probably mounted or um, staked up, or you can probably just let it, you know, be free range. We can see the tag from Marlowe's Orchids is pretty nice. Um, it's got their address, their name, blah blah, that's cool, and it says Dendrobium Tranchuanii medium light 2,000 to 2,500 foot candles. So what, that's kind of a little less than Cattleya light, I would say. And it's, oh look. They have it. <gasps> that 
that's cool. Okay, so they have it in a little basket inside of a little pot. Now, I don't know how much I'm supposed to water this, but this looks like it's been well watered and the bulbs are plump. So we've got one bloom, one little bud forming right here. And it's got that typical dendrobium bud shape with the spur kind of on the back here. You see that? And there's a little bit of pink color in the end. And, um, and this one has a little bud as well. So I'm going to assume that this is going to be a really good bloomer. Um, it didn't seem like it was a very hard species to grow. We'll see about that. We'll see if that's true or not. But as far as I've read, I've never seen warnings like this is an extremely hard orchid to grow, so we'll see. Um, but it's super, oh my god, it's so freaking cute. I'm assuming with the way it's potted, it needs to have good ventilation to the roots. Um, and maybe when it's done blooming, I'll put it into semi-hydroponic, but I don't know. I want to do that to everything. But I also really like this one and wouldn't want to kill it. And I did spend a bit to get it, so... I think I spent a total of uh, like $35 including shipping so it's a bit of a spend for an orchid but it's so freaking cute I'm in love I could I could go on about this plant but um, I will definitely make a video showing you the blooms um, I'm super super stoked on it this is an amazing little baby plant um, initial perception of ordering from Marlowe's orchids is really good. Good feedback for you guys this time. Healthy plant, very fast delivery, well packaged, and in bud. You win. You win today. And for those of you interested, you can buy some of these at Marlowe's orchids, at Seattle orchids, and at um, um, Orchids Limited, I think. You can get them at these three places for varying prices and at varying sizes. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.